I told you to stay off this set and never come back. I love that. I love that. I want you to do this right. You either do it right or you get off the set. You hear me? <laughs> get this together. Ah. It's not cutting. If you make this work or I take you out. I want you off my set on the double click. I can't hang out? Just for a minute? <laughs> He's a character. I've heard the stories about how he's been a fan since he's a kid. Spider-Man is history. That This movie will make history. It's a classic from the get-go. And you need someone there who says, I respect that. I want to make it edgy. I want to make it a high action adventure. But I have to tell a story here that anybody can see. Sam grew up having Spider-Man painted on the wall in his room, which is the best kind of a man to take the helm for a movie like that. What Sam's good is rooting all the fantastical elements with a reality, which is sort of conventional wisdom, but I felt that all the time, that he always would start out with a very down-to-earth concept and then kind of spin off on that. He has such a great imagination, and I hear him talk about Spider-Man, and his eyes sparkle. So I think that he just, you know, had such a knowledge and such a love for it, and it really comes through. He's warm and kind and, you know, a lot of directors, you feel as if they're standing over you with a big stick or something, but he's, he couldn't be sweeter and more fun to work with. He's got a tremendous visual sense. He's a great visual storyteller and, and kind of has a, a great sense of how, you know, movies, the unique thing about movies is how the pieces are put together. So he has a great sense of how to build a sequence um, from an action standpoint, but it always comes back to, is it good storytelling? When I first uh, discovered Sam Raimi in my drama class in high school, you know, I thought he was a schmuck, and now I'm convinced of it. It's great to see him at his element. He, Sam's the right guy to make a movie like this, because this is how his brain works. It, things are magical and fanciful, and now he's got the raw cash to make it happen. Uh, there's a lot of filmmakers who would be lost in this environment, but. With Sam, this is his world. This is what he does best. He brought a really wild, seat-of-the-pants style of filmmaking to Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2. And, you know, he used to work with the Coen brothers. And I think there was a lot of cross-influence way back, uh, which went into the early Coen brothers' film and Sam's films. And in their own crazy ways, they were both very influential. Spider-Man had uh, real personality, had real problems. The character of Peter Parker was a real kid in high school, and the Spider-Man comic books were more about how these superpowers affected his real life. So I could really relate to those stories in the uh, early Spider-Man comic books in the 60s and 70s, and he became one of my favorites. Well, I always would admire as a kid how the artists in comic books had to come up with one illustration that told the story. You'd see these very dramatic presentations in the comic books, and uh, they had to depict exactly what was happening in the drama. I would read these comic books and learn a lot about uh, how to tell a story with pictures. I had never made a type of picture that was widely commercially popular. I usually make dark and stranger type pictures that appeal to the general public. So I was surprised when I actually went in for an interview for Spider-Man because I knew how they had expected it to be a very popular mass appeal picture. And all I did was explain to the executives what my love for the character was. All the great things that I had seen Stan Lee and the great artists and writers at Marvel create over the years. And I told them how much I loved it and what aspects I loved about it. And I got a call back the next day saying I had the job. Years ago, Sam and I were gonna do a movie, The Mighty Thor, another Marvel character. We had planned to do that. We'd co-write it together. And he would direct it, because I was too busy. But it, for some reason, we never got around to doing it, really. But I had gotten friendly with Sam. I had great respect for him. He's a great director, an intelligent guy, the nicest guy you could ever meet. I'm absolutely delighted 
that he's the one who's doing Spider-Man. I think it's very lucky that we were able to get him because he's gonna do the character justice. He's a great collaborator. He really, just in general, made me feel like a part of the team, like I was really contributing a lot to, to the film. I love working with him because he's just a great example for me of a man who takes his work seriously and takes his family life seriously and is very sincere and caring and at the same time he can have a lot of fun and uh, be funny and he's obviously really good with camera work and can do really crazy fun stuff with the camera. Hang on Mary Jane! <laughs> I forget, did you want the movie to be good or bad? I, I have to ask if I can ask you for one more quarter speed fast. He's so intelligent, so funny on set, and just makes it like a really calm atmosphere where the set could be like, you know, everybody's stressing out, because everybody's stressed out around him, and he just keeps everybody calm and like good-natured and... He's a, he's a, you know, a good role model. I love working with Sam. He's, uh, he's collaborative, which is great because I really like to participate in, in the thinking process that goes into the making of the movie. And he understands what it is that he wants in terms of the action of the character, the personality of the character's motion, the personality of the character's presentation, and uh, the graphic quality of the film. I've never learned so much making a picture as I made this one. There were so many aspects of filmmaking that I had learned over the last 20 years that I had to draw upon to make this particular picture. Even though it's a small story of a young boy that learns what it is to be a responsible young man, its canvas is very large.